I'm excited for Quincy. Like, yes. I mean, it's My been baby. a minute for her. Um, it's been a minute, and Heather, you will have to do a speech somewhere in the bridal party, par- like bridal party brunch that we throw for her, or the best something because. Heather, when she first met Quincy, that's my sister's name's boyfriend, she legit asked the question, well, how old are you? And I can never forget my face. Because, like, her boyfriend is not old whatsoever. He's our age. Um, but it just cracks me up. Because the way she said it was, like, the older big sister vibes that, like, wait, let me ask some questions, okay? Because I wasn't going to ask all the questions. I was going to be, like, the cool sister, like, not trying to be, like, in the business. But Heather's like, no, I'll take the role. I was like, I'll take the world. Let me ask some real questions. Like, she's like, what do you do? And how old are you? How like she asked the questions that I'm supposed to ask, but Heather's like, I'll take that. I'll take that role. Because, so thank look, you. You know what? No one cares about your sister's <laughs> crazy best friend. Okay, no I will cares. gladly be the crazy best friend who asks all the freaking questions because we yes. all have the questions and we, we all have answers. It. And this is why we're best friends, and this is why Heather has to give some kind of a speech somewhere in the in the the whole escapade of the wedding that's going to come because that question was my favorite. She asked like the hard hitting questions. I wonder what he thought. I wonder what he thought. Oh, he probably when, thought like, in asked. his head. He probably thought in his head. Oh, so these are the people I'm gonna be stuck with. Because the way I ask him questions, like, I know for a fact he's like, oh, Chauncey's the crazy one. Like, he told me he's more fearful of me because I will literally ruin his life and a week before he I mean told act gonna, right <laughs> and you have nothing to worry about <laughs> the week before he told me he's gonna propose I was like when you're gonna propose to my sister if you do not propose to her soon it's been seven years guys I was like if you do not propose to her soon I will burn down your house like there's no lie I will remove all the things that we need to remove first I will take Leo on my back which is our puppy their puppy which is my nephew I will burn I was gonna say down. our puppy <laughs> it's our puppy because I that's my I am the auntie that stepped up, okay? I love that little boy like he's my own, okay? But, yes, I told him a week before I would burn down his house. And, you know, he's already in the planning of proposing for a while, but he didn't tell us, which was smart. But the last two weeks have been horrible for me to hide this secret from her, so I'm super excited. Well, it's going to be a celebration tonight, and I expect full pictures. Oh, videos, everything. But as of last week, I was able to do the happenings. And yes. now... We're back at so welcome to episode four four of the hangover of the hangover. So, are you ready? Are you nervous? Yeah. Yeah, you um, should be. I feel like I'm a little nervous, but I don't really mm-hmm. know. Again, okay, Chelsea's handling the happenings, so I have no idea what the hell we're talking about. But uh, we're about to find out. <laughs> okay, so everyone knows I love true crime. I love anything mysterious documentaries, like murders, all that crazy stuff. The people that you worry about watching true crimes, that's me. But I also love scams, okay? I love scams. I love listening to this amazing podcast called The Scam Goddess, and she has a comedic turn about scams, which is hilarious to me. So also always check that out, Scam Goddess. It's amazing. But I have got addicted to, thanks to one of my best friends, Crystal, called Scam Amanda, okay? It's a new podcast. Yes, Scam Amanda. Okay. And Scam Amanda is located in the Bay Area. You know, one of the alumni of the Bay Area. So it hit like, oh, so this is close. (laughs) This scam was like in our neighborhood. This hit home. Like it's in our backyard. So Scam Mm -hmm. Amanda, if you haven't heard about her, she is a woman who faked that she had cancer for over a decade. Yes, over a decade. So from like, I think she's like 36, 37. So yeah, I guess she's in our like age range. So like, she's like someone we could have known, could have met, could have seen in the streets of San Jose, Gilroy area. How do you like fake she, cancer? People do that. But the idea that she faked cancer for 10 years, it wasn't like she just faked it. She was getting money from people. Like Leanne Rimes was supporting her. Like there were celebrities saying, oh my God, I hope you're okay. Because she blogged about her, you know, her difficulties. And everyone, we all know how cancer affects family like i personally dealt with someone who had cancer my family a few times you have everyone has so we all know the health it it's a sensitive topic but mm-hmm. for some woman to fake cancer okay and the thing is this wonderful journalist named nancy i'm not gonna say her last name because i'm gonna butcher it for sure <laughs> was like very intrigued about how this woman was blogging about her cancer but it became more like wait does she really have cancer so this oh, podcast, shit. Scam Amanda, goes inter- they interview different people who are part of this, like, of this journey. And the worst part is, like, it affected so many people 
that is disgusting. So thank God she went to, she's sentenced to jail for fraud for five years, which is like the okay. biggest sentence in Northern California for fraud. The judge is like, you're Damn, a dangerous really? society. Five yes, years for fraud. That's the biggest sentence? Yes, because they, I think the first thing they're trying to do like 16 months, they're like, no, you're going 60 months, like from straight from the top. Like, this is terrible. And the thing is, she's a dangerous society because she moved to Texas while she's waiting for her trial and try to do this again. Re up the tour. She's on a ba- she's on a tour again. Yes, Heather. What? She's like, I'm gonna I'm a bring this that back. That bitch didn't guys. learn shit. No. And the thing about Texas is they flagged her in the system. Like she's coming here all the time. So like Texas was actually on top of that. But this woman was faking she had cancer. And I, my best friend Chris was like, you need to listen to this. This is wild. So Heather, get this, okay? Okay. So she said she had cancer. And you know, of course, like the community is gonna step up. If you can't pay your bills, can't afford medical treatment, like anyone nice enough to like donate to a GoFundMe account. Like I've donated mm-hmm. to like friends who've had diseases like here's just like, or people I don't know. Cause I'm just like, yeah. I don't, I, that's all best I can do. But she, it, the story started getting kind of wild. She kept having like, you know, reoccurrences of cancer, which is, you know, normal, but she kept having like yeah. four or five of them. And the, the part that had me all the way fucked up was when she said she got cancer again and she got pregnant for, I think the first or second time, I think it's the second child she had. And she said, God is so good. It's just because like, you know, which is, you know, true. She's like, I, through chemotherapy, through radiation, through a IUD, we had our miracle baby. Now, miss ma'am, this is a the lot going fuck? on. <laughs> like you had your IUD in, you had chemo radiation and everyone knows when you have chemo or radiation like that, like it's a hard, they have to do things beforehand if you want to have children to protect your eggs. Well, or so I mean, forth. I know people who have cancer and mm-hmm. like they were pregnant and could not get treated because yes. they were pregnant. Yeah. So she got pregnant throughout this. It was the IUD for me. Like we all know IUD. Can really? Fail. That like, was it? The IUD? That was you? It was a lot. It was a lot okay, for me. Um, oh my no, goodness. it was me freaking it, the cancer. The cancer. And, and, and but then everything. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get pregnant during cancer? I said, this bitch is really out here. She up here trying people. And she kept saying reoccurring. She fainted at her church, okay? She oh, was Lord. doing the most. She had people donating money. She said we need money to save her a home. She didn't even own a home. No. Yeah, she's like, I got, that bitch got, was got renting? two kids. Like, yes, where was this money trans- going? To her, she was going. She I know, was like, but I what, what was she doing? She ain't living her best life, was she? I mean, because like, if I was donating to this bitch, and she rolls up in a brand new Mercedes or some shit like that, I'd be like, "Excuse me, excuse, excuse me, wait, what?" No idea. She shaved her eye, like she shaved her hair. She was like, she was dedicated to the game. Okay, but the thing is, she if you look at like they did like a whole recap. She was taking pictures of different hospitals that she was getting treatment for. Like, please fly me out to New York for this special treatment. She was really just deep into it. And the worst part is that she had she had two sons and then she had a stepdaughter, which she calls her bonus daughter. And she was fighting the bonus daughter's mom for custody with her new husband. But mind you, yes, yes. And the thing is the bonus daughter just went through this whole custody battle it was so sad. And the thing is, the bonus daughter, her her sister from her mom's first marriage, you know, like a previous marriage, had cancer years ago. So she had to go through this trauma again and again. Yeah. Thinking someone close to her had uh, cancer. You know what? Yes. Some of me, so I got to say, like, fuck her. But at the yes. same time, too, <laughs> I mean, I, a little, I admire this. I admire this a little bit because of the fact she I'm stays. like, you know what? You were dedicated. You, yeah, she you even photoshopped. Were dedicated. She photoshopped. She, she photoshopped like um, medical reports, medical billing. Yeah, it was a mess. No. Like, if it wasn't for this amazing, like she, Nancy, the journalist, she really that's was a an multi hyphenated woman right there. That's yeah, it's it's the like, gig economy. In, yeah, but in my the works. Thing, and her husband said he was a firefighter. He wasn't a firefighter. There's a lot of moving parts of the story. Please, if, if you get a chance, people, go look up Scam Amanda. You can find, you can Google it, but listen to the podcast. I think it's like eight episodes. The last episode aired a few days ago. They have a bonus episode, which I'm about to listen to, but it was getting uh, quite wild. Like, what so. What was like the wildest part in this whole thing? I can't fucking tell you. <laughs> I can't tell you because it went to the left so many times. Like, and the, they have like actresses and actors uh, portray the voices for they like restatements of like what Amanda said in court and so forth and her blog posts. And the woman who played Amanda, the podcast, 
deserves a freaking out Oscar, whatever award you get for radio or podcasting, because this girl was giving us the same voice as Amanda. You would have thought that was Amanda. It was crazy. Like this woman, I don't know where it got crazy. I can't tell you where it started getting crazy yet. I think I was more concerned. I think it started off crazy when her husband, Amanda's husband, was this man that she knew and she was close to the family and then the other the ex-wife and they got back to, they got together after that woman got divorced wait, it was a lot wait, of her, her husband her husband was the husband the, of a friend i don't know it's like they like she knew the family before she knew the they got family together. before they got divorced that and mm-hmm. that other family yes and then yes. she like what swooped in on the husband I guess so. That part was a little vague to me, but that's what it sounded like. But I'm telling you right now, I can't tell you, Heather. Like, I try to think in my head, what's the most craziest shit in the thing? Every episode was some, like, little fires. Like, I was like, what the hell? Her mom was part of it, I think. The husband for sure had to be a part of it. It was a lot. It was a lot of moving parts because when I think when the bonus star saw an IV thing in her brother's room, her little brother's room, that was hard to hear. I was like, wait, so man, wait, 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 what do you mean IV thing? Like an IV, like the the stuff that you use for IV when you get like, you know, treatments and stuff like that. Like the needle and shit like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She saw that. She found it in in her brother's room? Yes, because Amanda, I guess, was hiding it. It was a lot. It was like her port was oh, on. Oh, so she, could, she was hiding it in her kids' room? Yes, yes. Like, like all the instance, medical equipment and shit? All this stuff. Like, for instance, like when you have like cancer, you get a port for chemotherapy, right? I yeah. think one of the blog posts is she had a picture of her getting a port. And they realized, so through research, that port is on a, the wrong side. There's certain ways you have to do a port. Yes. Yeah. So my mom had a port when she had breast cancer. You know what? Here's so, like, my thing. If you're going to do yes. it, do it right. Okay? Like, if you're going to scan, if you're going to go through all that effort to freaking do Photoshop and keep up yes. the damn lie, at least research what side was, the goddamn port goes on. I mean, It shit. was a fucking mess. Like, that was, like, a scam. Like, that was, like, what I've been in deep with. For the past, like, uh, I think two weeks. My friend told me about it two weeks ago. I literally listened to five episodes in one night while working on, like, So She Slay stuff. And I was like, how the fuck did I get here? But will I be back for, they, if they, she ever wants to do, like, a tell on 2020 or Dateline with my main man, Keith Morrison, I will be watching Amanda. That's a Keith movie. Morrison. That's, like, a you, lifetime movie. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be on Netflix soon. Netflix got a lot of things the worst with the sub, with the submarine going down. Netflix is busy right now, okay? They are, oh my okay? God. <laughs> I have seen so many freaking memes and shit about the submarine going down mm-hmm. lately. Like, it's crazy. That's- We're all going to hell for that. Like, Titanic. Yeah. I will go like freaking on with Celine Dion or whatever. Like yeah, my heart will well, go thing- on is like number two in the freaking music charts right now. Because we're we're, cause we're sick people. Like um, we're sick fucking people. There's a lot of things going on right now in the world, and we realize we're just moving ass backwards, and like it's just terrible. Just- but yeah, <laughs> we're moving ass backwards. Yes. That's all I can say. Like we're yes. like, things I've heard this morning. We're not gonna talk about that. This is like not like it's just too much to talk about. But we're going ass backwards in the world. But yeah that's that so scam anna that's my favorite scam right now and i hope to god my man keith morrison on dateline if you don't know who keith morrison is you're missing <laughs> out he's a, a journalist you know he is what you call an icon in the world okay if you don't watch it you're missing out i hope he interviews interviews that fool amanda amanda riley that's her name that's my favorite scam right now like yes so that's my happenings and i love your like happenings. Wait, and I have another happening I just found out. So everyone knows Heather and I love Manor Pump Rules. You know, I got Heather into it because it's just, it's a, it's a, it's it's so a hot toxic. take. It's so toxic, but it's a hot take. So I just read that Ra- Rachel, a.k.a. Raquel, whatever the name she wants to go by this season, she is in negotiations to film season 11 right now. Yes. I that bitch hope is coming they- back. That bitch is coming I hope- back. I hope to God she brings Grandma Buttons with her. I love Grandma Buttons. James loves Grandma Buttons. Grandma Buttons is my favorite side character. She's like smoking her long ass cigarette. Okay. At the I, like, party. Like, I love damn, Grandma Buttons. That's some audacity. I wonder if she asked for a pay raise because you know she had everybody. To. She had to because everybody, everybody's going to be tuning in for this. Like, I, I'm tuning in for it, and I don't even freaking like reality TV, okay? But I know. this is the, oh my God, this is the juiciest. Literally... So I want to see how <laughs> Tom Sandoval has really fucked up his entire life 
like him and yes. his little cover band or whatever um, that's traveling about or whatnot. Like I saw. Like, <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. With I'm that so scum excited. Of the earth. I'm so um, excited. Like I, I literally before we started filming, I saw that pop up on my um on my Instagram. I thought says, "Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Bravo, thank you for giving me a." What do you think is gonna today. happen? What do you think is gonna happen? I don't know. I don't know. Like I know they're not gonna try to film with each other, but they have to like film oh, I hope for they certain film things. With each other. They have to. They have to. Like there's there's money that you can buy me to film with somebody. You can buy me at this age. Oh, like, absolutely. I'm like, I'm like, so how much is my contract? Or it's like, I would be like, you know what? In negotiations, I'll be like, I'll take X, Y, and Z money. How You know what? No, no, no. How much money would you take? I don't know. That's the question. I was going to ask you. That's the question. I was like, how much money would you take to come back? But also, with Bravo, I would love to know, like, how much? Like, how much money are they willing to give this person? Like, how much money? Okay, how much money I would take? You know, you, no, no, no. Here's the thing is, like, because Vanderpump fell off for a minute, and then because of yes. the scandal, it popped back up. I came and it back. Was, it's trend- I mean, you got Adele freaking talking about this bullshit I at her you concert. Not. So, I, I mean, people, your- it's back. It's back. It's like, back. The freaking viewership is up. The sponsorship is up. Everybody's, like, much? I mean, freaking, I remember I was sending you, like, little, little um, Instagram reels about famous yes. actors, like, reading. Yes. doing dialogue from the actual uh, show john john ham is like iconic for his the guy uh what's his name brian Crenst- Crenston mm-hmm. from breaking brad fucking iconic okay it was but jennifer so lawrence funny. hilarious okay jennifer lawrence well jennifer lawrence if you don't know this she's a big bravo fan she watched all the housewives so like she was deep in the scan of all like she was deep into it. that's why she's so fucking hilarious about it but honestly like i told everyone i fell off interpump rules for a while a bitch had to tap back in. Okay, I had to tap back in, but here's and I'm the so excited. Thing, though <clears throat> she's already capitalizing on this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yes, Team Ariana for sure. But here's the thing: it's like Raquel's gonna get drugged through the mud, and I'm sorry, you're not paying me nothing to be drugged through the mud. I'm on at least six figures, mid six figures. I want a deal for mm-hmm. like back end, as far as like viewership wise, yes. if it goes up a certain percentage. I want um, also brand deals. So, you know what I mean? I want, I know, I know. I want, like, what would I get if I was, like, Raquel? No. I would probably get, like. She can't negotiate this. Like, she can't. Like, I'm sorry. You saw what she did. She was saying she was having her little Mickey Mouse lawyers and according to my girl Lala, you know, Ocean's mom, saying, sending, like, cease and desist letters to people's personal emails. And the words of yeah. uh, my girl Lala sent it to Daryl. Like send I it to Daryl. You know what? I, I mean, the whole the whole cast is capitalizing off of all of yes. this, and I want everybody I have to, to get still, paid for it. We still need to buy our sweatshirt, send it to Daryl because that was one of my favorite moments. But yeah, like Raquel, I want to know how Schwartz her. is doing. I feel like he's going off the deep end a little bit. Is that restaurant uh, even doing anything anymore? I don't know, but I have a friend who actually like lives in LA, and she's like, "Yeah, the place is always pretty busy." Like, like he and he's top Schwartz is always there. He's at all his different places that he's at. Like, he actually works and like helps out. Oh, so Schwartz actually does things. He's job. Sandoval, like, yeah. surprise, surprise. He's on tour, girl. He's on tour. Oh, okay? he's, he's on tour. On, he's his world tour. You know, he's, he's on over world here. tour. We're his in like nationwide we're in, tour with his little cover band. And yeah, we're. He's in Bakersfield. Okay? I want to know everyone, how <laughs> many times he gets ran through, like drugged through the mud. I would like, drug him every day of the week. I would. I would always have my sign there saying, "Pay your mom back." that part pay your mom back honest, Sandoval. pay your mom like pay your mom back because like it's time like all this little back end money you get from your little torrent pay your mom like it's back end like, money you know he ain't getting shit what is he in getting? his like, eyes he is two hundred dollars in his eye he, eyes he is a star okay he is a star okay that's what we call a fucking narcissist <laughs> <laughs> okay so that were my happenings for we talk about scam anna and we talk about the the best news i've heard today is, besides other things is that i'm so <laughs> interested yeah, so once I get updates, I'll let you know. But okay, you ready to talk about our favorite favorite shit of the week? Our favorite. Oh ick? my god, our afterthoughts, our afterthoughts. You know, I have to like watch that show like the day or two before we film this because I'm like, I don't, I don't look forward to watching that show at all. We only like, have one don't. more episode left, and if you guys really, that's been, it. Oh, yes, thank yes. God. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys haven't been like listening to us um the past episodes we talk about our favorite ick which is the idol it's debauchery at its finest like it's supposed to be six episodes now it's five they're saying because not because of like you know controversies it's a different vision but yeah we only have one more week of us talking about how we're sickened by Ew. this but 
Did you watch the latest episode? I did. Ooh. Okay, there's so much. Go okay, first. there's so much. Go there's first. so much. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so there's a little bit more of a story happening here. Like, I'm starting to fill in a little bit more of the blanks. I <laughs> love the co-managers. Oh, Fucking iconic. Hilarious. Iconic. I, I'm like, I'm like, just just more of them, please. Just more of them. Only them at this point, okay? Um, they're going to kill this only, man. Only them. Um, they're going to kill this. This dude needs to die. This dude needs to die. <laughs> I mean, mm-mm. no, no, no. I would do it myself. I would. Um, I would. I would. I would poison. I would. I would do something. Because I mean, I ain't gonna be. Part. I'm not gonna be messy. I'm not gonna be messy and shoot you or whatever. Because then I gotta yeah. like, I don't know, clean it, up. Hide, clean it up and shit like that, and like hide the weapon and stuff. Like, um, but I mean, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, I don't know, rat poison. Yeah, some something like that. Because something. you know, the rat poison for the rat tail. Uh, yes. <laughs> I like that. I love that's a new one. Rat poison for the rat tail. But yeah, it was just a I lot. Can't. Like, like oh my god. Like, I don't know where the fucking start. Like, he was Tedros was giving us a Te- lot of Tedros. moments. Tedros. Tedros oh, was giving us no. a lot of moments that it was just just I was just I was like oh ugh. like like I said like we and said that's not even his time. name according to the managers. It's like no, Mark, girl, she can't. <laughs> Keith or something? Mark something. something. I was dying. I'm like, who are you? Who okay. are you? I don't know. Identity issue. I don't know. Like, cover up clearly, his past. Clearly. You know what? Ish. The weekend. Abel. I feel like yes. it's a little uh, it's a Rachel, Raquel. Rachel Raquel. Raquel. You know, it's just there's a lot. Some... It's a lot. It's a lot. Like, okay, they did introduce uh, Jocelyn, um, new, her ex-boyfriend, played Rob. by Carl Guzman. Yeah, he played by Carl Guzman. He is fun as he is fun as fuck. I've been that man for he years. He was cute. I was like, damn. That used to be uh, Zoe Kravitz's ex husband. Like, and I get it, Zoe. You got good taste. But yeah, Carl, like his yeah, Carl Guzman. I was like, okay. But their scene they had together at the end, I was like, no, we didn't have to get this graphic. We didn't. Okay. Well, here's my thing with this whole thing. All right. So I couldn't watch a certain part in this in this Which part? episode. It was the part where he like they're they're playing the music and they're she's trying to get an authentic yeah or whatever, and yeah. he literally like sexually assaults her in front of everyone. Like oh he yes, is, like, I could not watch that. No, I could it's disgusting. Not watch that. I had to fast forward because no, like it. it literally turned my stomach. It was not it's, okay, and the fact it's not. that. The fact that, like, I understand shock factor, but this, no, 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 no. Never, ever is this okay. And to actually make her, like, enjoy it. Like, she's getting freaking, like. No, it was done. You know, assaulted with his hands all in there in front of everybody. Like, her manager, all the people that live in the house. Like, the producers. And everybody is just looking at each other. And they're like, what do we do? This is not okay. But, like, I'm like, this is literally, it's making my skin crawl right now. Like, this is the office. Like, never, ever should like as somebody who is deep into acting in the entertainment industry and all this kind of stuff like that is not okay that is not no, okay not, to ever show that lot. is not okay it, it was disgusting even the part when the um, xander was getting like tased in the <gasps> neck that's right for lying it was a lot. oh my god yeah. okay so that also like not okay ever to do that no. like i mean ugh, i have Honestly. like obviously issues but here's the thing is when he was quote unquote telling the truth and she kept lying or whatever. And then he was just like, he looked at Tetros and was just kind of like, she's using you. She's manipulating you. Da, 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 so on and so forth. And you see how that sunk into his head. Yes. Did you see how he says that? Yes. And then I was like, Oh yeah. shit. Oh shit. It Is was she a, playing it was him as lo- much as he's playing her? Honestly, at the end when she called her ex-boyfriend after she found out like the whole, like, Thing with um, bringing, what, bringing her to the Di- club, Diana or something like yeah, that. Yeah, girl, I know her. My icon from Blackpink. Yes, bringing her to the club. Like she just started re- realizing, like, oh shit, I've been set up. Like I've been, I'm being set up. And I love how her manager looked at this. Yes, bitch. Yes, like you're beginning set up. Like you know, like I feel like maybe I'll click to, click for her soon. It's not like she's trying. It's something. It's something. But I hope there's a shock that we know that she's just playing him the whole time. I pray for that shock in season the episode five. I pray for that because. I am sickened. I am sickened. Like, it's just, 
it's just something my favorite little ick that I can't stop watching, but I'm excited to be off this train of ickiness, you know? Mm. Mm-hmm. I wonder what show they're going to... HBO has, like, the best shows, so I wonder what show they're going to have to replace that. Well, here's my thing, though, with this. It's like, you can kind of... I want to see how this ends, right? Like, if mm-hmm. it's, like, going to be a good ending or not. I mean, the show is fucking shit anyways, but I'm like, is, it, is this going to have a payoff for me devoting an hour of my life to watching this fucking train wreck. No. Uh, no. no <laughs> my thing no. is like, what I will say is I'm interested to see if he ends up getting played like hard. I, I pray for it. I need a go. I need a giggle with the kids call it. I need a giggle. So yeah, like I was more be, disturbed be by this freaking episode than I think. Oh yeah. Than any. anything than any other episode thus far and that's saying a lot because the show is fucking ridiculous no Um, so it's discussed like so one of my best friends randy which heather knows we all grew up together basically at the gym she's just like she's like wait till you watch the studio scene i was like oh god i'm so sick she's like you'll be sickened so i already knew i I couldn't i couldn't i I was like watching it and i was like no no because again i had to like i had to fast forward like literally my stomach turned there was nothing attractive just, about that it's at sickening all. it's sickening i don't know i'm over it like but we have I'm one more episode left yeah i'm predicting that um i a hope killing. she freaking like hangs it's him out to dry Something. i really I do hope i hope and her, i hope and her, I mean, her, she's like and her, and her, her album is gonna be fire so get her uh, album fire okay like fire that album up drop that go on tour have him burn at the stake i need something you know what i He's going to try and freaking, you know, because obviously her ex-boyfriend Rob got blackmailed like yeah, by right before he left by Xander. Yes. Um, yeah. And so that's going to he's going to try and use that to win, quote unquote, Jocelyn back. And then I think Jocelyn's <sighs> not going to give enough fucks and nope. is going to actually pretend that she gives fucks, but is going to try and find a way to hang Tetris out to dry. I hope. But like the thing is, we're, we're writing it because we're better writers. And we're not we're amateur writers, but we have a better storyline than they have. But we'll see. So next week, (laughs) next week we'll figure out. We'll figure it out. So that's our ick of the day. God, thank God it's ending. I feel like, (laughs) Lord, I have to convince myself to watch that damn thing every single time, and I cannot. Um, Okay. 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 Freaking what else uh, shows Barbie. have you finished watching? Oh, have you watched Barbie? I haven't watched it's Barbie come, yet. I haven't, it haven't came out yet, but I've been seeing like the, what's it called? Like the press about it, like the press tour. Like it, I love the dedication to the aesthetics of Barbie world. Okay. Like I, yeah. I love the dedication. I'm super excited. Like when I first heard about Barbie coming out a couple of years ago, I was like, oh, okay. Like, you know, it'd be interesting. But one of the best women directors, best directors, period, not even women, the best directors, Greta, is doing the duty of directing Barbie, and she wrote it, too. So I'm excited to see, and Margaret Robbie, everyone else, that's my, like, that's that's a bad bitch. Like, and the whole cast, you have Issa Rae, you have America Ferreira, you have Kate McKinnon, like, you have every woman that you can ever think of in this movie everyone knows we love Issa Rae so mm-hmm. and then Ryan Gosling he is the perfect kid I'm sorry like the dedication that was a good he put to choice. it like there's some snacks in that movie so I will be definitely going to the movie theater and see because I actually want to know what is such what's the twist of it like why like they go the real world like, I'm, it's a lot I'm of definitely stuff. interested in seeing their storyline with it because yeah. I think a lot of like be, they were saying that like you think it's one thing, but it's totally something different. That's the thing. So, so Greta's an amazing writer. She's an amazing yes. writer. So I want to know what the twist is. And they have like these actors that they have in this movie. You know they came to like came to like slay. So I want to know what's the twist. Like what made all these big actors sign this movie? Like they sign on like to this like to have Ryan Gosling play Ken. Like what did he read that he's like mm, yeah that's me right there. I'm gonna go in there and do this. I don't know. So, you know what? Like, I mean, because I feel like with like, it's one of those things where, you know what? This reminds me of like that freaking song. Like, come on, Barbie, Barbie, let's, go Barbie party. let's go party. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Like, well, I heard the soundtrack. I heard the new Nicki Minaj song with Ice Spice. It was a Barbie world. And I was like, OK, yeah. I was like, OK, bet. Like, this is where we're at right now. We're doing this. So I'm I feel super like if excited. they're going to do it, they're going to like not make it stereotypical. Like, I'm so excited. Like. 
it is literally going to be like the best thing ever. So I will be watching it in July. We'll have recaps about that. But did you yeah, watch the that's... bear yet? Okay, so I've been busy, obviously, with things going on in my family's life, like my sister's engagement. But um, the bear, I will be dedicating myself this Sunday to be watching. Oh, you better it watch that. I, I'm so ready to talk about this. I love the bear. I love Jeremy Allen White ever since he was lip and shameless. The whole it's because you got a type. I have a type, but that's the old me. So like I used to love that's that. The okay, old that's the old me. me. That's the old me. So that's a different from different person. Now you forget. I'm a different woman. I'm, not, I'm a different person. That's the old that me. That is not the old me. That is the current me. <laughs> no, that's the old me. I ain't going back. Okay. So like you ain't going back. I mean, I ain't, I've been left. I'm fucking I've, left. I'm left. Okay. I got no, 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 no. I'm no, sorry. No. I'm sorry. You're gonna like. Oh, I want to talk to you about it so much. I'm gonna I'm watch like, it. I know I saw like the guest people in it like everyone knows like the cast everyone in that cast is fire like everyone there's no there's no one who's weak in that cast and the guest po- the guest people they have in the cast which I did read fucking fire so I'm super excited I will watch okay next episode I will get it in so we can talk about this next Friday I promise I promise oh goodness we have to talk about this I will um, okay I promise other than that, though, I think that's it for, like, the afterthoughts, man. We yes. we covered our favorite ick show, and I think that's the main – that's the main afterthought. Okay. Like, that's so. just – you know, it's not okay. <laughs> Sexual assault is not okay. Nothing. I say it's not okay, but I do have a question for you to think about for the next episode. And for our viewers who put this in the comments, the show is called The Hangover, right? What is mm-hmm. the worst hangover you've ever had? So think about oh, that Lord. for next week. I know. I thought about that. I was like, we always fall at the hangover, but like, what's the worst hangover we have? And we've had, I have like a good two. I, I don't get hangovers a lot, but there's at least two that I remember that took me the F oh, out. Oh, God. I've so, had so many. <laughs> <laughs> I only had two. I don't get hung. I don't get that. I don't, I can hold my liquor. Everyone knows I can like hold my liquor, but there's two that I know that I was ready to take myself out the game. So please. In the comments, everyone, please. I want to know write. what your roughest hangover was. Yes. And then next week, we'll share ours because the show is called The Hangover. So if you should talk about our worst hangover we ever we had. So in the comments. I mean, I feel like that's natural progression, right? Yes. I kind of feel yeah. like that that should be a part of it. Um, yeah. In the yeah, comments. Yeah, I feel like I feel like comments. there's so many. I feel like yeah, leave so it many. in the comments. Uh, DM us on social Slay's Instagram, like. Tell us your worst hangover because we all have them. And if you don't, you're fucking lying. But yeah, that is it for the day. <laughs> That's it for this episode. Um, if you are listening, definitely like and subscribe to the podcast. We are streaming on all podcast platforms. If you are watching, you're probably watching on uh, So She Slays YouTube. So definitely subscribe and comment. We do want to know about your worst hangover and other things. Like if you agree with our ick show and our, you know, observations on that bullshit uh also you can get in touch with chauncey and i on all the socials via at so she slays uh and then until next time later gators bye